guys, it's Frugal Boots with KK here, and today we're starting a vlog. Looks like Blake isn't ready, but we are ready. Um, right, so we want to do a little bit behind the scenes. We want to show you what's going on. We want to tell you about stuff that we've got coming up. So um, this is it. We are behind the scenes, and I've got the boys with me today, and we're just going to tell you all sorts of interesting stuff. Make sure you stay tuned because we are going to do a giveaway for the Euros. Uh, there's going to be a competition just a little bit later on the video. I'll explain how you can win, but it's going to be a personalized pair of boots. Any boots that you choose that are in stock um, are going to get your name and your number and a flag and all that kind of good stuff on it. So stay tuned for the competition. Um, but let's tell you what we're up to this week and up to next week right now. I'm in. Yeah, you're in. Right, big news boys and girls. Um, we've just secured a new pitch. It's actually a pitch that I do some of my training at as well. Um, it's a really nice brand new 3G pitch. It's got some nice blue bordering outside of it. It's got a middle stand as well. It looks really sharp. Um, so that's gonna be our new training ground now. So we actually used it for the Vapor 11 review. So you can click on the link now if you wanna check that out. It's a really sweet pitch and it's a good video too, so check that out. There was some, some nice young players down there. One guy called Fruin and his dad came over and they actually noticed us in our black and orange jacket and shirt. So it was nice of him to come over, so shout out to you Fruin. You're a good lad, I saw some good strides from you as well. So keep your eyes out for future reviews down on that new pitch, which is really slick. Right guys, we're doing a kind of live unboxing type here. We're pretty sure what we know is in here, so um, I'm just gonna try and attack this package. It's come from China, so. Um, yeah, I'll just break into it and we'll let you know what's in here. We're going to um, be doing a comparison video of these boots that are in this bag and um, we just wanted to give you our reactions pretty much as soon as we open the package. Um, quite often we get stuff in and we've kind of got our initial thoughts and we get your official thoughts when you, um, or initial thoughts as such when you check out this. So yeah, the box, some of you may notice doesn't look quite right. And inside, ooh. So yeah, what do you think of these? Wow. Yeah, very different. <laughs> oh, they haven't even bothered with the the pictures on the okay, case. So the pictures online of these what are fake superflies? Pictures online they bothered doing the the stripe down the middle, but clearly they haven't for these. So yeah. so they've gone with the upper almost of, of a vapor. Um, but <laughs> so. <laughs> So yeah, it's a Vapor Superfly, I suppose. But yeah, so they tried to do a fake version and clearly haven't succeeded. Um, these are relatively horrific. Um, what do you think, guys? Matt, what do you think of those? Let's have a feel. There's a few things I can see already that aren't quite right. Like the contour sole plate seen on the Superfly 5 is actual just a cheap plastic. It's nothing like the contour sole plate on the uh, Superfly. I think it might be the stiffest, stiffest upper I've ever felt in my life. Stiffest upper, stiffest sub plate. There's no real shape to it. Yeah, it's like it's a kind of like a blob. Yeah. So anyway, we'll make sure we do a proper like comparison video like you always see on the channel. We'll get them down on the table and we'll um, let you know how to make sure you don't accidentally get a pair of those. Really interestingly, they look nothing like the picture that we were showing online. Even the picture online, it looked a bit weird. Um, but these are, yeah, crazy. Um, we might even do a play test, might even have a, head over to the pitch and do that for you. So um, that's one of the things we're gonna do. Um, Matt, what else are you doing this week? I think you're going to black out some more boots. Yep, so as well as doing the Fate vs. Real Superfly 5, which I'll get going. Also, so we brought you some blackout videos of a Superfly and also the Vapor. The next project is the Pure Control. So a lot of you guys have asked for the Pure Control to be blacked out. So we're going to do that for you this week. I've got my kit all set out there. Blackouts actually hooked us up with three sets of blackout treatments. So we're going to do some future blackouts as well. Pure Control is the next one. It's going to be interesting because it has that prime knit upper, something that we haven't done yet. It obviously took to the Superfly quite well. Blake, have you got your Superflies? Yes, I've got great them. Great Blake's got his Superflies that are blacked out for him. He's just bringing them in and we can see that they've done a pretty good job. Have they been treating you? So these are the cut Superflies, the Superfly 4s that we cut in one of our videos. So you can click on the card now if you want to see that. And these are also, we've also blacked these out. So these were the CR7 Savage Beauty Superfly 4s. We've blacked them out, we've cut the collar, and I've been wearing them. And yet, as you can see, they're very, very muddy. I've you been wearing need them to, soft grounds. You need, what happened to the cleaning videos? They need to be cleaned. I need Jeez. to get the boot brush back. I'm pro. Yeah, but yeah, I've been scoring a few goals with these. They're very, very comfortable. And yes, a lot of people hated seeing the collar cut, actually cut on the Superfly So I've been doing a few toe pokes. Look at the state of the front there. I wouldn't be surprised. No. But they're actually very, very comfortable. I'm someone with really, really wide feet, but it suits my feet well as the collar sort of 
means that I couldn't really put my foot into these boots, but the cutting the collar makes it really great for wide footed footballers, someone like me, happy scoring a few goals on soft grounds, as you can see, I'm really happy with these. So, talking about the pure controls, obviously the players in the Euros have been been given their own versions. We've seen Paul Bogba and also Delhi and Delhi and Bam ones. Had a Bam Bam Modric had a pair. Maybe Rakitic had a pair of Croatia ones. Brazil. Uh, but talking about the Euros, obviously for me and Ian, both from UK, very disappointed with the performance. My, myself personally, I wasn't happy with how Roy Hodgson did it. I wasn't happy with the team he picked. I wasn't happy with the way that we performed player-wise. So going on from there, Ian, what were your thoughts on it? England performance, where do you want to go oh, from here? Oh, where, do, where do you see the future? It's bad, isn't it? Um, Hodgson, yeah, he should have made a lot of changes and he should have noticed sooner. I mean, Sterling clearly doesn't know what to do with the ball and um, okay. yeah, why is Harry Kane being allowed to take all the free kicks and corners even every single time? He couldn't beat the first man or would just completely kick it out of, um, out of play. So it's surprising that Hodgson couldn't even notice any of that. So we do need to make a change. I think we need to go back to like the old kind of Terry Venable style manager. You know? School, retro. Like just get all the players pissed before the tournament <laughs> and um, relax into the tournament. And some of the best stuff we've seen was like Euro 96. Uh, England were like super relaxed and um, actually did well. Get Gaza back. Yeah, exactly. Bring Gaza back. Chair. Yeah, I mean, all of that. That would be perfect. Um, I'm hearing like mad stuff like maybe Arsene Wenger and things like that. I mean, mm. English. We want English. You are, yeah, but you're going to go English, are you going to have Southgate? No, not for me. Not Southgate? No, no probably not. Poor at Middlesbrough. <laughs> Sam Allardyce? Poor at Newcastle. Everybody's poor at Newcastle. <laughs> true, true. Um, yeah, so this, yeah, there's not a depth of talent. I think even like Harry Redknapp wouldn't be too bad of a shout. Um, but he's a bit old for it now, probably. And then I was like hearing like Tim Sherwood and things like that. That's just madness. Mm. No, no. Don't know. So, oh, I think someone like, no, like, oh, I know he's not English, but Conte. Obviously, I saw him on the sideline for Italy and he was there kicking balls, he was smashing balls away, passionate. Yeah. That's what I'd love to see. Like, Hodgson was a bit of a man who just stood on the sideline. Didn't really talk much, didn't, didn't move around much. I want someone like kicking every ball, heading every ball, tackling every ball. That's what I'd like to see, someone with real passion on the sideline driving the balls forward. Well, we thought that with like Stuart Pearce. Something like Stuart Pearce yeah, but then didn't really work out either. No. Um, so it's a, it's a tough job to take, I suppose. So Looking around the do. office, I can see we've got our vapors we got our Vapor 11 and also the Vapor 10. This morning I actually did a comparison video of the previous model and the new model. Um, that's all been recorded now, all done. It's a nice little video, so watch out for that coming up. Although the boots are quite similar, there's a few differences, so make sure you watch the video to find out what they actually are. And we've also, I've also recorded an unboxing of the Mercurial X Proximo 2s, which will be live on our channel very soon, if not live already. So yeah. Mercurial X Proximo 2s, Vapors, we're talking every, everything Mercurial, so that's good to see. Yeah, there'll be a big comparison of all that kind of stuff. And we've also got a big delivery, they're coming from Nike. Um, we've got a couple of the pairs already and there's a few more coming in the next few days. We're going to end up doing another massive unboxing, so there is a new Nike drop coming very soon. We can't tell you anything else about it right now. We can tell you that we are getting the boots in. Uh, Cam is going to be helping us out, we're doing a whole bunch of unboxing and stuff, so um, he'll be doing a vlog soon just to introduce himself to the channel. A lot of you probably already know him from his power and precision, um, but he's going to be helping us out doing a lot more stuff with footballboots.co.uk. The other person who's going to be doing a lot of stuff that you may have seen already was Lucas. He went to the Puma event for us in London, and this week Lucas is heading to Aston Villa's training ground. They've got a new deal with Under Armour, they're going to be revealing their kit and stuff, and Lucas, going to be, Lucas, Lucas is going to be doing a vlog from um, Villa's training ground on a whole bunch of Under Armour stuff, so make sure you look out for that on the channel too. Um, loads of good stuff coming on. Um, we just had David R um, do the... Um, Hyperlink for Kids. Yes. Yeah, Phantom 2. So that's um, another new thing. So obviously most of our channel so far has been for adults boots. What we're going to start doing is trying to introduce some younger players, younger testers with some kids boots as well. So the great David R has just done a Hyperlink Phantom 2 for kids. That's on our channel now live, so check that out. And also we've got Tech is kid coming up, the little superstar from Birmingham. He's got the Vapor for kids, so make sure you check that out as well. He's a great little player, a great guy, a great character, so it'll make a great video. Yeah, a lot of you've been asking us to get Tech is kid in some of the sock boots. Unfortunately, his feet are a little bit small for the sock boots at the moment. Nike don't make the sock boots in that size, so um, Greg David R helped us out with the Phantom review, and Tech is kid is doing the Vapor 11 kids, and that, as uh, Matt says, will be on the channel real soon. Um, another thing that we've got coming in is a new boot from Puma 
Some of you guys may have seen it already, you might even know the name of it. We can't really talk about it right now, um, but it will be a blackout test for us. We're going to go back to the pitch and um, hopefully we're going to get Luke back on the channel. We haven't seen anything from Luke in a while, but Luke will be helping us out with a test and review of the new blackout Puma boots. Um, that's going to be happening real soon, so that will be on the channel. Right, um, let me talk a little bit more. Oh, hold on one second. Let me just try and find what we're going to be giving away. Where's he gone? I don't know. Shocking him to take it down. No first touch. Soft upper, very soft, flexible, second skin, barefoot. Right, so the gist is, it is any boot giveaway. So you could want the X's, you could want the hypervenoms, you could watch the um, pure chaoses, you could want the pure controls, anything you want. It's going to be a whole bunch of new boots coming out from Nike and from Adidas and all that coming soon. And all we're going to ask you to do is tell us who you think are going to be the finalists at the Euros. Um, there's a link and a card right now, so jump to that link. Um, and enter in who you think are going to be the finalists. It's real easy, and you have until the end of all of the quarterfinals, so um, opportunity to have a bit more of a chance of working out who it's going to be. Um, it's thanks very much to our partners, Level Soccer. You can get 10% off any high um, end boot, like the um, adult kind of the Phantoms or the Finishes or the Superflies or the Vapors. Um, or even the Pure Chaoses and the X16s, anything like that, you can get 10% off at their website. Thanks to them, use the exclusive code Black Orange. And yeah, enter the competition. We're going to talk about it on Instagram. Check out our Instagram, check out our Twitter, check out our Facebook. Um, those are going to be the ways that you can enter the competition and try and win yourself a pair of boots. They will be customized with um, your name, your um, flag, or any kind of other stuff like that you want to put on them. And it's a real easy to enter competition. You just have to kind of repost our Instagram picture or retweet us on Twitter and also make sure you tell us who you think those finalists are going to be. The link is there in the description. It's also on that card, as I said. So good luck to you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for a long time about us doing a giveaway and today we're doing it. So thanks for staying around and watching this vlog. We will be back next week with another one with a lot more new things to tell you and also we'll be catching up with uh, Cam and Lucas and all the things they've been up to for the channel too. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Let's go enjoy our football. See you later. later.